This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why does ZModeler insert edge loop go in the opposite direction when holding shift? So this question was sent along with an image, and the image depicted a model that looked similar to this. So this is a single-sided polygon model. So if I go to the tool palette over here, I go down to the display properties and turn off double-sided here. So this is what the geometry looks like. So it's a single-sided piece of geometry. And the question is asking about using the ZModeler insert edge loop action. So make sure I have the ZModeler brush selected. I'm gonna hover over an edge here and press spacebar to go in the ZModeler edge action menu. I'm gonna make sure my action is set to insert and then my target is set to a single edge loop. Now with this, I can come across the surface here and I can click and drag. I can add an edge loop to my existing topology. Now, as I hover over this edge, you're gonna see that the context menu here says that I can hold Alt and click, which will delete an edge loop, and I can hold Shift and click, which will give me a constant width. So let's click and hold the Shift key. And as I'm clicking, and then if I hold the Shift key, you'll see that this is happening. So you can see that it's giving me some strange effects like this. So why is my edge loop going in this weird direction? because I want to use the shift key to get this constant dimension from an edge, but when I hold the shift key, I'm getting this instead. So why is this happening? So this is happening because you're applying this insert edge loop on a single-sided piece of geometry. So in order to get the constant width to work, you have to have some thickness to your mesh. So let's try that same process again, but let's give this mesh some thickness. So first I'm gonna hover over a poly here and go into the ZModeler poly action menu. I'm gonna set my action to extrude and then I'm gonna use the target of all polygons. So I'm just going to click and drag just to give the mesh a little thickness here. So something like that. And now let's use that insert edge loop option again. So I'm gonna come across this edge again, make sure I still have that insert edge loop selected. And if I click and drag now and then hold shift, you can see now it's going to give me that constant width. So now I'm gonna be able to come through and use this to my advantage. So coming through and establishing an edge loop with that constant width across the surface there. So if you are running into the issue where you are using the insert edge loop and you hold down shift and it's starting to generate an effect like this, just make sure that your topology has thickness and is not single-sided. Because the insert edge loop option is looking at the surface normals of your mesh and it needs thickness there to determine where that constant width will be located. So just come through and extrude your single-sided polygons to give them thickness. And then when you come in and use that insert edge option again and hold down shift, you will now be able to use that constraint. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.